going to continue with uh, a little bit more English clogging, but this is actually a uh, vaudeville style clogging, so it's not quite as traditional. Um, I learned the next two routines from a woman in Connecticut named Anna Marley. Uh, she actually learned them from her father and from her grandfather, who also used to perform them in the minstrel shows. Um, I imagine they've changed a little bit, but um, she danced them on the vaudeville stages on the, Mar on the uh, major bows circuit in the 1930s. Um, kids, if you don't know what the major bow circuit is, you can probably ask your mom <laughs> or your dad. Um, it was uh, in vaudeville and it would travel around the country and do shows. Uh, so I think of this as, as sort of the connecting link or a connecting link between um, step dancing or clogging, you know, traditional English clogging and Irish step dancing and tap, modern day tap. Um, the biggest difference in sort of the evolution of percussive dance is how much you move your upper body. Uh, as you can see with the Irish, my upper body was very still, or should have been, uh, and <laughs> not very much movement at all, and it's all in the legs. Um, as I get more and more into other types of percussive dance, my upper body swings a little bit more, but you can st see with the uh, English it was still fairly rigid. Here you get a little bit more Lucy in your upper body. So <laughs> uh, this is called the Marley Waltz Club. <laughs> 